Yo, Wagwan people. Okay, so I is trying to drop a reaction video today for Buffy. This is season one, episode seven. It is called Angel. Now, here's a thing real quick before we get into this. So it was recommended that I check out Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And I knew about the show when it came out, but it just kind of missed, you know, my radar. And it didn't really look too interesting to me. And, you know, that kind of stuff. So it, it just, the whole thing went by, never watched an episode. Anyway, it gets recommended that I check it out. And I tried checking it out, like... Uh, a few months back, about three or four months ago on Amazon. It was on Amazon Prime for a while. I watched the first four episodes and I just kind of thought, eh, you know, it's, uh, you know, I, I don't know if I want to continue with this. It's not bad. It's just, uh, you know, I wasn't really feeling it like that, right? But anyway, Amazon ended up taking off their Prime service and the only way you can watch it if you paid like, I don't know, £10, £15, or whatever it is for the season. I'm like, nah, loudest then. Anyway, it is now on uh, Disney+. Plus. So I've watched the first four episodes again. I watched episode five and episode six yesterday. And episode six, I gotta admit, I gotta admit, that kind of got me a little bit. I was kind of like, okay, okay. Because I kind of went from, God, and I'm still not feeling this to, okay, okay, you got a little sign there, you got a little sign there, that whole thing with a principal getting eaten by, oh, by the way, spoilers, spoilers, if you've not watched uh, Buffy, spoilers, I think I want to do a few reactions to a few of the episodes, so maybe this one, and maybe the season finale, I do have a question for you guys, though. I have a few questions for you guys though, season two of Buffy, so I figured I want to do a reaction for the season finale of season two at some point, right, but which other episodes of season two do you think I should do reactions, because I'm not going to do reactions to all episodes this is long but which episodes do you think would get the best reactions out of me that's what i want to know from you guys for the buffy fans out there so i know there's some buffy fans out there y'all let me know that i should be watching buffy so for the buffy fans anybody who's watched buffy of season two which episodes of season two do you think would get the best reactions out of me and i'm do maybe i don't know two or however many i feel i can do but i'll, I'll do a few another question angel right another one that i know about but again just never bothered to watch it i know it's a spin-off from buffy i know this is like a character this show's called angel um and i know but uh, angel ran alongside buffy for a while which order should i be watching them in? so should i watch season one of buffy then season one of Angel or season one, two of Buffy. That You know, how should I be watching them? Because I don't know. I know Angel started afterwards. I'm not sure when it started. I'm guessing it started sometime after the episode we're about to watch. But let me know. How, what's the order I should be watching them in? And I, I know I can... Okay. Technical difficulties. And yes, I know I can just Google these things. But even still, I want to know what you guys think. So, without further ado, let's get into Buffy the Vampire Slew. Trying to get the rhyme in there. I see what episode seven, season one is saying. Like I said, season six, oh, episode six kind of got me. I was like, okay. Previously on Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Who are you? I'm a friend. Oh yeah, so that kid was in the end of the last episode. So we're going to know what he's about. I don't get to have any fun. I will send the three. The three? Ooh, who are the three? I do, uh, which is fine with me most of the time, but what about Angel? By the way, real quick, they're supposed to be high schoolers. I know they're older than that in real life. That's just the way it goes, but they're supposed to be high schoolers, right? Because um, they're, they're in high school, right? But I swear they talk about drinking. Like, they talk about Chard was it Chardonnays and Chiantes and whatever. I'm sure they talk about drinking a few times. They seem to hang out in bars a lot as well. Now, I know... It's high school kids do all kinds of madness. I was young once. I get it. I'm just saying, though. Aren't they supposed to be not promoting that kind of stuff? Or am I missing something here? You know, hey, I don't know what everyone's talking about. That outfit doesn't make you look like a hooker. <laughs> <laughs> it's late. I'm tired. And I don't want to play games. Show yourself. Okay. Okay. Nice. Yeah, be careful okay. what you wish for. Okay. Look, I really don't want to fight all three of you. <laughs> so it's Buffy met a match. I think considering there's like seven seasons of this, probably not. Good dogs don't fight. Oh. Clearly they're not good dogs. I swear these vampire guys look like the extras in a kung fu movie though. Like the people just there to get beaten up by the main guy. I mean, pretty much what's going on here really, so yeah. Yeah, sure, go home. That would do it. A vampire can't come in unless it's invited. Um, Lost Boys. They said it in Lost Boys. If you don't know about Lost Boys, check out Lost Boys. But yeah, that's from Lost Boys. I'm gonna go to bed, and uh, Buffy? I'll say goodnight and do the same. Buffy trying to get buffed. <laughs> Duh. I mean, guys will do anything to impress a girl. I mean, he's not wrong, to be honest. I mean, guys would go to some lengths to impress a girl. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. 
Stories for another day. With power comes responsibility. Spider-Man. So true. <laughs> Best guy. <laughs> Did you course will discuss the crossbow? Put on your pads. Well, I'm not gonna need pads to fight you. <laughs> Alright, so here's the thing real quick. Let me pause here. He's telling Buffy to put on her pads, but then he hasn't actually buckled up his helmet. Really? Really, Giles? So that whole fantasy part has nothing to even do with you at all. Your mother moved your diary when she came in to straighten up. I watched her from the closet. <laughs> oh. How much older? I oh, she's got to find out. Girl. She's got to find out. She kissing a man that's what? old enough to be her great, 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 great granddad. Well, I'm a quantum man. Angel's a vampire. You're a slayer. I think it's obvious what you have to do. It is <laughs> a bit duty. Where did you get that dress? This is a one-of-a-kind Todd Oldham. Do you know how much this dress cost? Is this a knockoff? This is a knockoff, isn't it? Charisma Carpenter. She's awesome. Big up Charisma Carpenter all day, every day. And if she still doesn't trust you, you know where I'll be. I just kind of realised, actually, this was Twilight's before Twilight's was Twilight, because Twilight pretty much did the same thing, except they just made it creepier with Edward Cullen sneaking around and spying on girls while they were sleeping. So it was the same thing, but creepier. But yeah, this is Twilight. Buffy was Twilight before Twilight was Twilight. That's my realisation for today. Angel kills her and comes back to the fold. Angel. He was the most vicious creature I ever met. I miss him. I wonder what that kid's doing now. He's probably all like messed up by this point. I hope he got therapy after this. <laughs> I, I hope that kid got therapy after this. I mean, I've heard some, I mean, look, real talk. I heard some stuff that went up on this show in in part due to the uh, producer of the show, the creative uh, producer, whatever, creator of the show, uh, doing some skullduggeries. So um, I hope out of all that, at the very least, they got this kid some therapy because I think he's going to need it. And I was supposed to help her with the War of Independence. My family kind of goes back to those days. <laughs> well, I, I know she's supposed to be home soon. Would you like to come in and wait? I mean, here's the thing, though. Vampire or not, do, do people do that? Because I feel like if somebody turned up at my house talking about, oh, uh, they, they came for somebody, I don't know if I'd be just inviting strangers in to just come in and wait. Not without calling them first and say, hey, do you know what's up? You know what I mean? I, I don't know if I'd be doing that. But then again, maybe I'm, maybe I'm just an arsehole. Because <laughs> I feel like I'd just be like, all right, cool. Well, they're not in right now. Um... They might be back in whatever and, you know, maybe maybe come back then. <laughs> I don't know if I've been letting people in my house are like, oh, yeah, just coming up now. Nah, I don't know, man. But what would you do if somebody turned up at your house, you don't know the person, and they start talking about how they know somebody who lives with you, um, but that person that they know isn't at home, are you saying, all right, cool, come in and wait, they're going to be home soon? Or are you saying, all right, come back later when we're here? What, what? Because I, I feel like I'm the come back later. You're not, you're not coming in my house right now. I don't know you. You're not coming in my house. But I don't know. Maybe I'm the arsehole. Maybe, maybe you guys are nicer and will let them come in and invite them into your house. Let me know. What would you do? That's my question for now. What would you do? Do you feel like something little or something big? Something big. They're not going to kill the mama, are they? Well, is he going to do it? Is he gonna do it? Oh. Home. Oh no. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, that ain't gonna look good. Angel looking like a demon right now. You come near us and I'll kill you. Kill him now. What are you waiting for? You're hurting me. That's good too. Sadist. <laughs> but hey, I don't kink shame. Get it though. Angel knows he didn't attack her mother. So he's really just giving in to what Darla was saying about, oh, your true self. I mean, for the hundred years, or whatever, he's suppressed it and now it just takes a few words from some hot chick to be like, okay, cool, I'm gonna go kill this girl that I fancy, even though I know that it wasn't me that attacked her. I mean, he's not even gonna try and explain himself and that. He's just gonna be like, okay, yeah, this other girl said some stuff and now I'm gonna try and get, like, I don't know. Something seems missing here. So you started with my mom? didn't bite her. And why didn't you say something? But I wanted to. Wait, you're just gonna believe him like man. Don't believe him now, come on. Ugh. We know he didn't do it, but it's like, come on. Scary. Scarier. <laughs> so keep it simple, gunshots. <laughs> I 
think John Wu would be proud of that one. Look, this can't ever be anything. I know. Yeah, Twilight's definitely much creepier than quick. this. Because they don't even care about the age difference in that. Oh. Burnt into the chest. Oh, okay, okay. You know what? I um, I know what it's like to be attracted to somebody, to have feelings for somebody that you know you can't be with. To be in that situation where you, you recognize and you accept that it's not going to work for whatever reason. But at the same time, those feelings are still there. I know what that's like. It's just tough. It's a tough... Mm, yeah, I get it. Also know what it's like to be the guy that somebody is attracted to and you had no idea like the whole time was they they were attracted to you you had no idea you didn't sense it or pick up on it or anything like that you're just going about your day and just find out later that some girl used to have apparently like a couple of girls in my school you know and i'm like i did, I did all this time i did not know it is what it is it is what it is but um yeah you know what like i said the first few the first like what four episodes I watched and I kind of just felt, mm, not really feeling it, it's right, but you know, not really doing it for me. Fifth episode even, mm, sixth episode, that kind of got me a little bit. This episode is pretty cool though. I, I like that, you know, the whole thing with uh, where she finds out who or what Angel is and his history and what that's about. Then we find a little bit more about Angel and Darla uh, and their history and, you know, why she's kind of invested in that. So yeah, this is, um, all right, I might, I might have to, you know, see this one through. But yeah, like I was saying before, let me know. So I probably want to, well, let, let me not make too many promises. <laughs> but I want to try and do another reaction video for the season finale. For season one, I think that's season, it's like 10 or 12. Only, I think there's only 12 episodes. There's only, it's not that many on, in the first season, I know that, because the other seasons are longer. But anyway, I want to try and do this one for the season finale. Um, but for season two, for season two, let me know which episodes you think i should do reactions to which ones you think will get the best reactions out of me and which order should i watch them in is it buffy angel buffy angel or is it buffy buffy angel you know what i mean let, let me know but yeah you know i, I like that that's pretty cool that was a uh, um like i say brought back a few memories of uh, some <laughs> some some things that happened in my past not not involving vampires maybe some undead though but let me not get into too much details there but uh <laughs> anyway i liked it i like this episode um Next episode is I, Robot, You, Jane. I've watched that some other time, I guess. Maybe tomorrow, so I'm feeling. But yeah, let me know what you think of Buffy and which order I should be watching in, which ones I should do reactions to. Let me know. Any recommendations, suggestions, drop in the comments, send them through, and I'll see what I can do. Like, share, subscribe, because we're doing this 10 yet. Get me, fam. More videos on the screen. Check out my other channels as well. It'll be much appreciated. But that's going to be it for the minute. So, guys, until whenever, if ever, peace.